Well, this was our hospitality uh, center, essentially right here, which uh, also had my residence, our offices, and a wine lab. And as you can see, uh, we've already uh, removed it all. We've leveled it a lot, and we're getting ready to rebuild. Looking through some of the things today that uh, we lost in the fire, um, the main one is uh, what was in part a historic residence on property. Uh, large house we used for all kinds of different things, guest house, kitchen, uh, tasting space, uh, about a five or six thousand square foot house, yeah. pretty much destroyed by the fire. This is uh, right off the Silverado Trail, so we're out in the southeastern part of Napa Valley and right off the trail the, the fires came right from behind us, uh, from mm -hmm. the Yachtville uh, area and uh, fueled by about a 50 mile an hour wind that night. So. Uh, so we had the fires come right down this hill. Much in the background there, you can see um, a very black hill, and that's where the fires came from. And really, we're with, uh, within yeah. our property limits within an hour. You see our fire destroyed winemaking facility. Mm -hmm. So, this is where we lost about 8,000 cases of wine from mostly the 17 vintage and some of the 16 vintage. This is crush pad, barrels, fermentation room, and more barrels. You know, so basically a complete loss of, of all of our wine, wine making facility and wines. But the good news is, is that 90% of our vineyards are still intact. All the artwork on our property has survived. We did actually store wine off-site, so we do have about 10,000 cases we stored off-site. And, and we also had a taste room in Sonoma Valley in Kenwood that did not burn, that's open and, 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 and people who want to taste our wine and support the winery can, can taste our wines there. We've learned um, that basically uh, vineyards don't burn. Uh, unless it has somewhat of a cover crop that's, uh, that's gone dry between the rows, uh, which we didn't have in this case, the vines don't really burn. Uh, there's not enough fuel, uh, they're too far apart, and uh, we didn't really lose any vines here. Just about 10 feet away uh -huh. is, is the Mayakamas Main Winery Building, which has been continuously in production uh, since since that same year, since 1889. It's always been a winery, and it's never gone out of use. And the fire burned, literally burned the side of the walls, and uh, burned the trees in the front, burned right up to the walls in the back, and for whatever reason, uh, it didn't sustain any structural damage at all. So. Uh, the house that we lost is is uh, is uh, is a tough loss. Uh, had we lost the winery, it would have been it would have been a real a real serious situation. Yeah. It would have been hard to recover. I think if you just drove up 29 or Silverado Trail, you really wouldn't see a lot of you know what we call fire damage. And uh, for all intents and purposes, Napa is more or less back to normal. The beauty of Sonoma County is still here. Yeah. The beauty of Napa is still here. And 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 we're encouraging people to come. And, the whole place didn't burn. Santa Rosa is still here, and Sonoma is still here, and Napa is still here. So, so uh, people should come out and enjoy the beauties of these counties and our wines and our locally produced products and our restaurants. The place is great. All the hotels are open. The restaurants are open. There's, you know, I'm I'm one of the wineries that's not open, but uh, there's maybe me and about two others that uh, are not fully open. And you know. We're not open, let's say, our facilities to the public, but we're making wine here. So, yeah, come to Napa Valley. Uh, uh, it's, it's more or less business as usual. We're going to rebuild, and we're going to hopefully come back uh, better. And and, and 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 we're excited about you know the prospects, but it's going to be a grind for the next year <laughs> and a half until we reopen. <laughs>